Good afternoon, everybody. All right, just a quick update. Um, I've been getting a bit frustrated, really, doing all the point motors and things like that. Um, so I thought I'd have a break from it and have a go at ballasting, which I have never done before. Um, obviously, you can see I've done some of the scenery. Still need some touching up and things like that um, on this next to this outermost track. Same as um, I need to do some paint touching up and things like that but generally I'm fairly happy See, I've added some trees and bushes even though all the foliage has fallen off that one um, but yeah I'm relatively happy with it for now um, but anyway so I thought I'd have a, a bit of a at ballasting um, and to be honest finding it really really frustrating um, this is Woodland Scenics ballast, and I've I've tried to follow as many different techniques as I can and try and find the one that I like, but every single one I just find is an absolute ball ache. Um, getting all the little bits on top of the sleepers all the time. Um, this is actually glued down now, so I've just been going along picking off the, the bits that are stuck and then hoovering them up um, which to be honest is probably the easiest way but but wow it takes ages and ages and ages um, I have got a ballast spread and device machine thing um, which yeah it works all right um, but the other thing I've noticed is the sound so obviously I've underlaid most of the track so if I run this dummy car along, you can hear it's fairly quiet. As soon as it goes onto the, the ballasted bit, see the sound is quite a large increase. Some of it may well be because there's still some little bits interfering with the wheels, but generally just the the sound of it is much louder but yeah um, that's pretty much all I've got to tell you um, I've done a lot of this section here um, going to do some tidying up obviously I've got little edging bits to fill in and stuff like that add a little bit more greenery here and there um, and a little bit of weathering but yeah I'm gonna keep playing with it I thought I'd try on this track to start with because it's it's out the way and there's no points on it to get in the way this is my first ever attempt at ballasting um, I've got the track gluing down up there um, I'm holding the track down with copy decks um, on this raised section because um, it's, to be honest, I don't think it would take track pins very easily. Um, but, um, and then the rest of it I'll, I'll pin down with track pins, hopefully. I'll, I've watched loads and loads of videos of other people doing ballasting. And, I mean, a lot of them seem to do it quite well. Um, I find if I use... A little sprayer um, to like get the trap wet it just blows the ballast all over the place um, so I don't know I'll keep trying and um, try and perfect my own technique I'm not gonna make a video of of me actually doing it because I'd hate for anybody to think oh that's how to do it and try and copy me um, but if I find a technique that is pretty good or that works then I will video it but yeah thought I'd add a, another update of the actual layout I know I've done a few of the um, just go over the other side hang on right so we've done a, a couple of videos now um, showing the the new livery on these um, and you know general running and things like that but I will keep on them um, making videos now hopefully just on the layout um, there's still a lot to be decided about 
what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, and things like that. Um, I think I'm going to concentrate on this side for now because I've got quite a wide space that I can use for like scenery and things like that um, and for making a bit of a town and stuff. And this is where the station is going to be so I can concentrate on this and the bit over the other side, this bit over here which is and always has been very very track heavy because it's got all my sidings and stuff um, I will think about it or have a good think and see what I'm going to do about it um, it's a little bit too track heavy for my liking it's, there's basically no room for anything else so I need to seriously seriously have a think um, I've even thought about completely blocking in the the two inclines so we've got one going up one going down um, they could be completely enclosed um, and have something above it I don't know town fields countryside something like that so there's lots to think about and the other idea I have got is which if you remember back to my really really old videos um, I say really old they were still only this year I had like a bridge type thing going across the middle here when it was on its lower configuration um, so I will possibly have that um, so the sidings and everything would come round round a corner here onto this which would join up to that end but the tracks wouldn't join up just the extension of the baseboard would um, and it would kind of give me more room to play with and I could maybe not have so many sidings here so it's it's another idea anyway it's something else I can think of doing I could even have a um, maybe a, a diagonal baseboard going across here at an angle it's hard to visualize without it actually being here um, I apologize about the camera work on this um, I'm just using my phone for this video because I wasn't going to make one but I was up here um, and I didn't want to go down and um, find the SLR and stuff but so anyway yeah that's that's that I will try and keep you updated as I as I make decisions um, which there's a few to make but but yeah for now um, I will concentrate on this get this ballasting done um, then obviously I'm gonna have to try again with these point motors um, I've I've sort of done them um, and they worked I haven't got the the mimic panel all wired up properly and everything um, haven't even got it properly created but um, maybe that's something I should do first get that made and then I can just plug into it as and when I want to or as and when I get the points connected um, what's made it more difficult for me is because I'm I'm cheating somewhat and using one mega points um, output I suppose to control two servos um, which obviously they always need to be activated together I have discussed this before um, I you've got um, the throw settings on them basically on the mega points controller to give you your, your maximum and minimum throw or your maximum throw um, on on each end of the scale but these the way I set it up I have to set it up so perfectly that both servos need the same amount of throw set um, otherwise you end up with the servo um, you know the little motory noise that servos make it does that all the time so it's a bit of a pain setting it up and it's all just just because I'm trying to be cheap and not buy another mega points controller um, but you know that's that's my choice so I'll keep trying with it and if I if I give up with it and have to buy another mega points controller then I will um, or I can could well go down the DCC route with it but we'll see Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it there. 
Um, I know it's a it's a bit of a crappy video, but I just thought I'd keep you updated because I haven't actually made a video on the actual layout for a while. So yeah, there we go. If you um, if you want to see the previous video, which was the um, the GWR HST running video, um, click the top link. And if you want to subscribe, click the bottom link. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.